Hello out there. Hello, everybody. I'm obviously coming out and making this video after a workout. I don't feel 100% like I did two days ago. I felt like I was just unstoppable. Just bomb. And then yesterday, I had to stop early because I felt like I was about to die. When I found out what that was, it's a little something called keto flu, K-E-T-O flu for you military people. Kilo Echo Tango Oscar, K-E-T-O flu. And it's a real thing. And it happens to individuals who cut out carbs and sugars, which is exactly what I did. So I got this little feeling of sickness with flu-like symptoms, had a fever, had the shakes, felt very nauseous, fatigued, drained of every sap of energy I had, and it's called the keto flu. So there you go. If any of you have ever experienced that, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It sucks, but the cure for keto flu, believe it or not, is to either work out add a little bit of carbs back to your diet, which I refuse to do, because you know, I add a little bit, I'm just gonna go all the way, you know, all or nothing over here. <laughs> so I'm not gonna do that. I, I am working out, I feel a little bit better. And to add like salt or magnesium or things like that back into your diet. So what I did was I bought some water that was uh, amped up on electrolytes. And then I bought some Himalayan sea salt that I'm incorporating into my food. And I guess that's making me feel a little bit better. Sorry, this camera gets wobbly. I'm trying to figure out which hand I'm gonna hold it with. So today for workout, I did the elliptical, which as you guys know, I said every time I get on the elliptical, I have to hit 500 calories before I get off. Today that didn't happen and let me tell you why. So on this elliptical that I have, I'm gonna show it to you. On this elliptical right here, it starts to for whatever reason, if you're on it, because my, my garage is at an incline, and in Alaska, garages are at an incline, so if the ice and all the stuff, if the flooding comes into the garage, it doesn't sit and mess up the foundation of the house, it slides out on the incline, right? So my garage is on the incline. It's on a small grade going down. I don't know if you can see that, but it goes like this. But anyway, if you hit the elliptical just right, like if you rock it, you know, because you really get into it and you ah, ah, ah. But if you rock it too much, the time starts over, your calories go away, your carbs burn go away, everything goes away and it starts over from zero, zero, uh, colon, zero, zero, right? That happened to me four times. Because I'm like, I'm getting this workout, I'm getting it. It happened when I had burned 125 calories, it started over. So I started over as if I'd burned zero calories. I got all the way down to burning, to only having 123 calories left to burn out of 500. And it started over. And I was like, okay, I'm getting a little peeved, but whatever. And then I'm rocking and rolling. Got a minute into the third time it started over and it started over again. I was like, you know what? I'm done. <laughs> not, gonna, not gonna do the elliptical, so I just hopped off. So I probably burned I probably burned 500 calories, but not in one session because it kept starting over. So after that, I got my, oh, this is my, my rig for watching TV. So I put my, put my phone right here, set it up like that, and then I can watch my phone. But anyway, I uh, got my weights down here, and I take them and I do arm curls, 20 on each side. Don't drop the weights after I did 20, and I take them and go like this, one on each side. All the way to 20, don't drop the, drop all but one weight. So I have 120 pound in my hand and then I do a weighted squat. So I squat down and as I squat it down, I lift the weight up here and then I stretch the weight out. This one up here, stretch the weight out. So that's what I did. Each one of those workouts, 20, and then I dropped the weights, walk laps around my garage, six laps. And then and that was my cool down. And then I pick up the weights again, do the curls, the side extensions and the squats. Walk around six laps again and then do it again. So I did three sets. 
with a break because I've been told that when you're doing muscle training, it's not about speed and all of that. It's about technique and your form and you actually need to take breaks in between each uh, set. So in between each set, it was three exercises in one set. So after I finished the three exercises in the one set, I take a minute break. So I did that and then I'm done. That was all my workout for today. It took me about an hour, which is good. I want, I want to try to do at least an hour working out a day if I can help it. But if I start feeling bad, y'all know I'm gonna have to chalk it up to a bad day. My body's not feeling it. I'm not trying to push my body and hurt myself trying to, mm -mm, nope. If I feel like I need to stop, I'll stop. And then later on in the day, if I feel like I need to come back, I'll come back. Too easy, too easy. Um, but I wanted to know, what do you guys do for your um, post-workout? So with me, after I get done working out, like right now, I record my video. <laughs> and then after this, I'll guzzle down some water. I say guzzle, but I probably drink like a bottle of water within the next five minutes after working out. So I drink my water which is 16.9 ounces, by the way, one bottle. So I drink my water, and then I'll head upstairs and run my bath water. And while I run the bath water, I'll choose which bath bomb I'm going to use. <laughs> so, again, Poofy Organics, if you guys want to know, this is the, the brand. So I'll choose with, which bath bomb I want to use. And while I choose my bath bomb, I'll get my clothes that I'm going to put on after getting out of the bathtub. I put them in the bathroom, make sure I have my towel, make sure I have my rag, make sure I have my body wash, make sure I have the charger to my phone so I can watch something. Because when I get in the tub, I'm not immediately sitting in there and start washing. No, I got to sit, got to put the bath bomb in there, let it dissolve, relax in the water a little bit, let the aromatherapy hook me up with some energy or some peace. And then after about 10 to 15 minutes, then I start bathing. And then after I get out, I get dressed dry off lotion, get dressed. And then I go and I sit on the couch for a good five or 10 minutes. And then I go get another bottle of water. I know I probably should drink more water in between that, but I get another bottle of water and then that's it. And then I go on about my day. And if I feel like I can do more working out during the day, I will. But the plan is to do at least an hour. So I was curious to know while I was on the elliptical, the third time it restarted, I was getting a little pissed. So I was trying to get my brain off of the elliptical. And I started wondering, what do people do during their post-workout? Well, what do y'all do? What's your, what's your routine or your ritual or whatever? So let me know either in comment or video or a picture of, of your workout journal where you have it written out, whatever. Just let me know. Out of curiosity, I want to know what you guys do. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you guys are killing it, making moves, making changes, challenging yourself. And if you guys need anything, let me know. I'm always here for you. Always, always, always. And as you know, guys, let's freaking get it.